Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away, and we're going to be starting now the 3D print for Vincent. I did do a uh, introduction in another video, which I'll put a link to in the end, just saying what I intend to do and where I am about printing this, but I thought now we'll start with the stages of what I'm doing, and the first thing I'm going to be printing is the head. Now, if you're unsure who Vincent is, it's from Disney's The Black Hole, which came out way back in the, was it 1979, 1980, something like that. Now, on the Facebook group, where the link's in the description, uh, a gentleman by the name of Ian Hughes has created STL files to print, and that's what we're printing at the moment. As a matter of fact, what you see in the background there is uh, part of the collar, the shoulder area, uh, of the Vincent building. So I'm already onto the second stage, but in this stage, we're building uh, the head section with the eyes, the ears, and the cap that goes on top. So uh, let me just give you an introduction of Cura and show you some of these files and what they look like on the build plate. Now these files were created by Ian Hughes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, some of the files that I've used to create the head. So Ian Hughes' SDL files are broken down into head, guns, feet, extended legs, claw and body. Obviously we've been working on the head at the moment. Uh, I'll give you an idea of what these files look like. If we go to the left eye plate, that's looking just like that. Now I'm printing this at 40 degrees and that is actually the angle that I printed it at. So what I do is I just click on that, I click on scale and just put, did I say 40 degrees? 40% sorry. So that is the scale of the eye plate that I'm doing. So that's pretty much what all these files are. Let's just show you some of the other files that are in the uh, head uh, section here. We've basically got the uh, the eyes. I'll show you them before I put them down to 40% because obviously uh, you can see them a lot better, but that's what the eyes look like. Uh, the other files that we had were the ears. I'll show you one of them that look like that. Uh, I can rotate these by clicking on this here and just putting them up there just so you can see what the other side looks like there. The way I actually printed this one was I selected this, which lets me select the face, and then I uh, selected the uh, face this side, like that, and it printed like that. So uh, it didn't need any supports that way. Um, just once again, show you how I do this. I reduced it to 40% scale, and then I just moved it into the center of the build plate just like that. Um, I was printing one at a time. I wasn't printing more than one at a time. Uh, but that's the ear piece. Let's have a look at the other parts of the head here. We've got the um, the head bottom, which uh, is quite a large piece here, as you can see. And that's the bit that's uh, obviously got the eye holes here and the ears holes here. Uh, we've got another one, which is the uh, head middle piece, which is this one here, which again, the eyes are going to be fitting into this section here. And again, the ears on that. That's the bit that you saw that I'd already painted red. And then you've got the hat on top. So uh, the hat back, just looking like this. And this is the uh, gray bit that you're gonna see that I put on top. But that's pretty much how I do Cura. I'll just show you once again with the hat here. I reduce the scale to 40%. I'm gonna move that just into the build plate there. I'm looking at the shadow at the bottom here to make sure that's on the build plate just like that. And then I'm gonna rotate it round to where it needs to be. So for this one, I think I printed it with this side uh, valid here. So you can select the side and then drag that onto the build plate, just like that. And then uh, we can just drop it onto the build plate, like that. And that's how I print that off. So we're still to do the hat, but at the moment, as you can see here, we've got the bottom of the head here, the eye sockets here, this is where the ears are going to go, although I'm going to be printing the ears again because they really need to be in black. And I could just paint the ears that I've done in black. I mean, they obviously just go in here kind of like that. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is print them in black filament. Uh, that way uh, I don't need to paint them. The other thing is that I've done the eyes already as well. Let me just put that to one side. Uh, this is what the eyes look like. Now, obviously, the pupils are just black as well. Now, these were printed on white PLA, uh, but once again, I could print those in black if I wanted to, but uh, all you have to do is just push them into the holes here. And just by putting pupils in there, it's amazing how these now look like Vincent's eyes, which are, are really good. Uh, which means the only thing I'm left to do at the moment is um, I've already primed this. I've already sanded this. So it's just a case of painting this, the red color uh, that it needs to be. Now, the color that I'm going to be painting this, um, I'm actually using an aerosol rather than an uh, airbrush. It's called Fiat Red Orange. 
Um, I've actually picked this color mainly because of how it looks under a bright spotlight because this is going to be sitting in the background of my um, my videos uh, and I did spray a little bit into the cap just so I can see what that looks like so pretty much as close as match as I can get it uh, I didn't want it to be too flat uh, which is why I picked a car color for that uh, but this is now ready to uh, spray so I'm going to get on with that now So once that's all painted, looking just like that, really good. I've kept the inside white because obviously we're going to have a top on this. You're not going to see any of this at all. Uh, I've also kept that support in there. I don't really need that, but uh, rather than break it out, it adds a bit of weight. And uh, if something feels like it weighs more, um, it feels like it's more expensive. That's the way I've always thought of it. Anyway, obviously this is going to be this way up. So we need to put the eyes in now. No, I'm not going to put the ears in yet. Let's just show you the ears would, as I said, normally go in here. Obviously I've... Uh, I've been using these when I painted it just to stop on, but I am going to print these in black PLA, like I said last time. They're going to kind of go in like that. Uh, but we can put the eyes in now. Now, the eyes are looking just like this. And quite simply, all of these are going to do is they're going to go in from the back here. We're going to put them in from the bottom. And they're going to sit in just like that. Now, if you see, there is a kind of a lip in the inside of this as well. Uh, that's how they're supposed to sit. Vincent's eyes were in there, inset into this actual unit. They wasn't level with this unit here. So I'm going to get that glued in and show you what it looks like with the eyes. So when that's done with the black filament, as you can see, it looks like that. So now we've got the ears in. And whereas I mentioned before that the eyes are indent into here, the ears actually are outdented. So you've got a sort of like millimeter rim around each ear. And I'm sure you'll agree that looks absolutely brilliant. Now I've still got the support inside and basically I want to talk about what you can do to electrify this up because I'm not actually going to be putting electrics in it. The reason for that is because it's going to be sitting in the background hanging from the ceiling so it is going to have the effect that it's flying uh, but I'm not going to be powering it all the time and even when I'm doing videos because of the spotlights here you're not going to be seeing it powered but I want to give you an idea of what you can do so that you can improvise and uh, be creative. So now first off if you look at the eyes they're hollow you've got holes in them. Now you can feed some one millimeter uh, optic fiber through them if you want and then you can pass it through the bottom through the hole there and then put that into the body and you can actually light that up with an LED from the body alternatively you could just use small LEDs because this is printed in black filament uh, you could put them just behind those sections there and light these eyes up but they'd need to be tiny otherwise you're gonna have to think about light bleed now when we put the actual headpiece on the last bit is actually in the uh, film translucent and once again now I've kept the support on because you can mount yellow LEDs around here and they will actually process through because this is all diffused by the way that they put the support material inside to make it look like Vincent's brain. So when this is on, that's going to go on just like that and we're going to need to glue that into place. Now to do that, I'm just using your everyday super glue. And what I tend to find is this sticks really well. So I'm not going to need any clamps when I'm just putting this top piece on. I'll just get that all the way around. Just doing a thin line in the middle and then once I put the top on that's actually gonna squash that down. Now because there's no direction on this even though if you were putting it together with cable ties on the holes here or some little tiny screws you'd need to line this up. I don't need to do that because I'm just gluing it directly on. So let's make sure this is on exactly where it needs to be. I'm happy with that. And there we go. So that's, uh, <laughs> Vincent looks like a ball at the moment. Uh, but you see what I mean about the eyes now? So you can have these lit up. And I did do a quick demonstration uh, on my Patreon channel, and I'll show you that now, what these actually do look like lit up. Because I did experiment with it, but as I said, because I'm actually going to just use it theoretically as an ornament, I'm not going to actually be doing that. But I just want it to look the best it can on camera, hanging up behind me. So once we've got this, the next thing to do is print the cap. Thank you. 
And when that's completed, that looks like this. Now I've printed this on silver PLA, but it is gonna need to be uh, painted again. And so I'm gonna need to prime it, paint it, and I probably will get rid of these seam lines. But I printed this just like this, so you get an idea of what this actually looks like. Uh, I'm not quite sure what way is the right front way round because uh, obviously you've got the seams on the side. I think I'll probably keep the seams to the side. But what this is gonna do, if I bring Vincent over again, we put the hat on here. It fits completely over this section here. So you're not actually going to be seeing the bit that I've just put on there, looking just like that. Uh, but again, if you wanted to motorize this or have this raise up through the head, you could do it to see the brain and see all the lights because once again, it's completely hollow down the middle. So you could have a mechanical rod actually just pushing that cap up. So uh, that's what Vincent now looks like with the head complete. Now in the next video, we're gonna start working on the body, but I wanna give you an idea of how this head looks with the shoulder sections in, because I have started to print them now. Now, as you can see, this is just like the Vincent that we know and love from the film. Now I haven't attached any of these uh, shoulder sections together. I've printed three of them, and as you can see, there was one on the printer now, but that's pretty much where we are at the moment with the Vincent build. So I hope you like that. I really am enjoying making this, but what I'm gonna be doing is printing all of the armor sections because I'm gonna paint them in one go, uh, and then we'll start putting the details on. Now, I did mention that I'm not doing the electrics, but when we get near to the end of this build, I will be putting things like LEDs just into the side here, not necessarily to power them up, but to have the effect that there are lights there. But uh, I might change my mind. I always do when it comes around. Uh, and then once the feet, uh, and then once it's actually completely finished, we'll put on the uh, decals that said Vincent around here. And as I said, it's going to be hovering just like the Millennium Falcon behind me here on some fishing wire, hanging up probably just between the Outer Time sign and the uh, Andural Sword. Uh, but you know, this is a, a passion project for me because as soon as I got this 3D printer, it's what I wanted to build. So uh, I'm building it now, and I can't wait. Now, if you do go over to the Facebook group, I do believe Ian is working on the uh, SDL files for doing Bob. So uh, that'd be pretty good when it comes around. But uh, stay tuned and watch when part two comes out. We'll have all the body section completed uh, and then we'll start working on the feet and claws in one of the later videos. But uh, I really do hope you like that 3D printing video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.